Well, really excited to talk to University of Colorado defensive coordinator Tyson Summers. Coach, uh, welcome. Really appreciate you joining us here to talk about the Eagles' third-round pick in the 2020 NFL Draft, Davion Taylor. This is a guy that you got to work with uh, last season in 2019. I just want to ask you, when you first got to campus there uh, in, at Colorado, what was your first interaction? What was your first takeaway when working with Davion? Well, Davion was one of the first players that I met. He, uh, As soon as we got hired and I got there that day, uh, Coach uh, Coach Tucker had given him my, my phone number already, and he came right to the office to introduce himself. He's got a big personality. He's got a big smile. Uh, he's always smiling. He's never had a bad day. He's never had a bad hour. He's never had a bad minute. And uh, and the very first thing he asked me, he said, I want to I play in the NFL. What do I have to do to play that well to get drafted? And uh, and and we all told him it was you just you have to keep working at it. You've been given some physical tools and the ability to run uh, more so than anybody else I've really ever been around uh, at, at his size and just keep learning ball. And that was the big challenge for him was not understanding necessarily all the ins and outs of the game and the position. Uh, but I'll give him a lot of credit. I told him that, you know, right around January one and I saw him every day for an extra two hours a day until our last game of the year. What was that mental progression like for him? You know, obviously uh, a guy that did not play a ton of football, certainly not uh, at a high level. So what was that? What kind of progression did you see from him from January one up until the end of the season for you guys? Well, I think a lot of it was exposure. Uh, and and like you talked about a second ago, he hadn't played a lot of high school football, played junior college football uh, for, you know, really three semesters and uh, and had been there in Colorado really playing for one. And you come into a, a system like ours. Our system is very much, you know, comes from kind of the Bill Belichick tree, the Nick Saban tree, and uh, and is a true NFL system. And so it was it was pretty it was pretty intense for him uh, to be able to understand the checks. And then what happened was as as he kept getting better and better, and the reps kept getting higher and higher. You know what you saw him do was understand the why. And as soon as that was able to happen, and he understood the why behind things. He was able to play really fast and be able to make plays and really be helpful for us. Have you seen a story like his before, and just in terms of his background and you know the the experience or lack of thereof of, of playing football, uh, at least in games? Have you seen or any or worked with anybody that has that kind of backstory with him? You know, he's such a he's such a special person. He really is. He's when you, any person has ever been around Davion, a coach. Uh, a teacher, someone from the academics, uh, the training room, the weight room, strength coach. If you've been around Davion Taylor for more than five minutes, you naturally just fall in love with this guy. I mean, he is just an incredible human being. He's a positive leader for his teammates. He makes you feel better as a person each day. And so when you hear his story and you hear that, you know, he only played one game of high school football that he practiced, that he had to walk on at Cahoma, Mississippi, uh, that he, you know, um, that, that, that Ross Ells, the, the linebackers coach that was here that signed him and recruited him, kind of fell into him. Um, when you see all the steps, it, it really doesn't surprise you that I got that he did it, but it surprises you that anyone could. What is the the freakiest thing you've seen him do from an athletic standpoint? Because we we talked about you know him in the hundred meter and you know just to what he's done at the track uh, on the track both at Colorado and at the junior college and high school level. But when you've been working with him, what is, what is the freakiest athletic thing you've seen him do on the football field? Well, the the fastest thing you know he was on our he was on our track team uh, when when we first when we first got here our first spring. And uh, and so just seeing I, I happened to walk in the indoor one day when they were running and I was like, oh, my gosh, you know, and this was before spring ball. And, uh, but there are two different things that, that jump out to me. Uh, when we were playing the University of Washington this past year. They tried to run a reverse with a guy that I knew could really, really run. And I saw Davion diagnose play really quickly and he takes off from all the way across the field. And I think for a for a one yard gain. Uh, there was another situation practice was first spring we were there, uh, kind of the same thing. There was a bubble route uh, and he was trying to get off the block and he took off and ran and no one was anywhere close to him. He, lay, he lays out, makes a tackle, and he winds up rolling on his back. And most people would kind of get up off of their back, put their hand down, put their knee down, you know, and get up. And he, he literally was up rolling on his back and he just flipped off of it onto his feet. And the, <laughs> You, you know, you just you kind of, and he didn't think anything about it. Didn't even know what he had done. And about four of the uh, four of the DBs were right beside him. They were like, "Oh, 
So it was, uh, he, he's going to have moments like that, you know, once a week where he does something that kind of just that, that, that sparks you. But when you have speed, like he does, and, uh, and you have a relentless attitude that he does, it's, it's, it's going to wind up. He's going to be able to make a lot of plays for you guys. Coach Summers, I can't tell you enough how thankful we are you were able to join us here today to share some of your experiences with Davion Taylor. Good luck to you guys this fall, and we'll hope to talk to you again soon. Y'all too. Thank you. Have a great day.